Welcome to Drummond Island. This is a remote island off of the coast of Michigan, nestled between Canada and the United States. We are here in fairly stocked trucks, ready to take on the Marblehead Steps. Before getting to the steps, we have to face water crossings, rock ledges, and mud. And after all this, we still have to make a 10 hour return trip home. So strap in, let me show you the Marblehead Steps. We start on the Drummond Island Ferry. The ferry runs year-round, making hourly trips to and from mainland U.S. and Drummond Island. The fun begins on the access trail. To our surprise, this is actually a lot of rock and really no mud at this point, which is very nice because we came in the rain season. You want to be sure to strap down any gear inside of your rig because this stuff is going to get jostled around. The access trail is interesting. You keep getting these little bite-sized pieces of what the Marblehead steps are going to be like. The first obstacle was this water crossing. We had done a couple before this, however, You're none good. of them got this deep. You're starting to come up. This is my buddy Ryan in a Colorado ZR2 on 33 inch tires. And luckily he has a reasonable amount of clearance. I was a little concerned in my Xterra. As you can see, the water line is actually above the bottom of my door. For reference, I'm on 33s with a small lift. If you're headed out this way, just know this is after the rain season. So this is probably about the worst this is gonna get. Bargain. Immediately after the water crossing, we get Marblehead Steps Jr. This picture is actually from later in the day, so we're currently at the bottom of the hill going up, not coming down. Unfortunately, due to an SD card issue, I don't have any videos of us going up the hill, but I do have videos of us coming down. So let me use that to explain what we're dealing with. These steps aren't too difficult. However, since we just did a water crossing, our tires are quite wet and we're only at 25 PSI. You just really wanna watch out for this hole. And even then, this is really just an issue for people that have IFS and smaller tires. As you can see, this Jeep just couldn't give two shits. With my IFS and single locker, I decided to take a route around the big divot. And also there's a raised section on the left side of the top of the hill. If you couldn't tell, we are a little bit newer to off-roading. So if you're watching this video band, like you boys are worried about nothing, that's probably fair. This really isn't too difficult. I think you can get just any four wheel drive truck through here as long as you're careful. Keep on coming up. You're good. I want you, cause I want you to drop over this ledge and then we're gonna start turning right. Go ahead and, go ahead and start going driver. I'm just trying to keep you away from that ledge. That way if you slide on the water, you don't slide into it. You're good. Yeah, hard passenger. Keep coming. You're good, you're good. You still got a mile to that big divot. Trying to get them all the Straighten way. up. Keep coming straight. He's good. Keep yeah, coming straight. Yep, you're good. The left rear is going to bang over. Now go ahead and start going hard driver. You got plenty of clearance and you're way away from the hole. Finally, after a little bit more driving, you get to the Marblehead Steps. We are currently at the bottom of the Marblehead Steps looking up. You would typically be starting from the top coming down. Ryan's headed up the easier side of the steps, flexed out. Might as well lock them both. Oh, that locker life. Oh, bro. As you can see with a front and rear locker, Ryan's truck walks right up this. There's really no issue. Next, we'll bring my Xterra up. If you're not familiar, this is the Pro 4X, which means I have a single locker in the rear. Now, the other side of the Marblehead steps would be the more difficult side. I definitely would not try to go up this side without a locker. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am on a very minor lift with 33s and we still had to stack rocks for me to clear some of these edges. Cameras never do verticality justice, but I think this is the best shot I have as to what these ledges actually look like. It pushes through his brakes, don't it? Oh, hold on. I think we're on the frame rail. Oh, we're on the leaf spring, he said. Yeah, you might want to resituate. Bump it. Uh, 
No, I don't. I don't think you have to. You're good, you're clearing. Go for it. Go. Yep. You're good. You're golden. You try to get as far driver as you can. The right rail bump over, you're good. Okay, so now the only problem is we gotta get around this horn right here. We do not want to get that into the tire because it'll press in and try to DB the tire. Locker doing its thing. So you can see here what we're trying to dodge. And on the front right, try not to dis demolish my fog light on this rock. Stop. Yep. If we scratch the bumper a little bit, it's all right. Little, I just don't want to rip it off. Pass. Let's go. Little passenger pass. Stop. Oh, I think you're good. I think you're good. No, you're right. You don't have to bump it. You're good. We've got a lot of grip now that we're not. We don't have wet tires. Passenger, just a bit. Oh, fucking golden. Dude. The old Nissan, bro. After the steps, you've got about a two minute drive to Marblehead. From here, the trail is pretty light. Honestly, you could do this in two wheel drive pretty easily. And all of this is one directional. If you come down the trail, you have to go back. This part of the trail is only accessible if you come down Marble Head, though, Holy and shit, on the way dude. back, you'll have to go back up it. Yo. Yeah, I think we can make it. What do you think? How deep do you think that is? 100 foot? All in all, this is just one of the trails here at Drummond Island, and I've been told that there are many more trails that are quite a bit more gnarly. I definitely think this was one of the more enjoyable trails. It's got a little bit of challenge to it, but you're not stressing out about tearing up your rig being several hours away from home.